everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Now today I am bringing the drama. I've been really inspired by color lately. I know sometimes I stick to like soft neutral looks, but I mean, come on. It's Jeffrey Mother Star. We gotta bring the color. So today I'm giving you a pastel goth cotton candy inspired glam look. I hope you guys enjoy it. And also, coming soon, I will be doing some videos on new products. I know I've hinted at the highlighters, which you will see later in this video. I also have an eyeshadow palette coming out, which no one has seen yet. So we're gonna be filming a swatch reveal on that. And I have even more liquid lips coming out. You guys thought I was playing for 2016? Because I am not slowing down. So in April, we got new liquid lips and the highlighters. Towards the end of May, I will be releasing my first ever eyeshadow palette. I am so excited. If you live in the SoCal area, I will be debuting my eyeshadow palette at RuPaul's Drag Con, which is at the LA Convention. Center. If you use code Jeffree Star, you get 10% off on your tickets, so I will leave all that info below. I hope to see you there. First come, first serve for my palette, so if you don't want to wait online and you live in the area, you better be there. All right, now put on some sunglasses, crack open a Red Bull, and enjoy this look. Now to start, I'm actually gonna leave no brows today. Now that I have these amazing bangs, I don't need brows. So we're gonna stick to the very goth alien Jeffree Star 10th grade look that I used to do. And to start this, I'm gonna coat my entire lids with a white skin color base. And today I'm gonna be using the new Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Quad. Ooh, that is a mouthful. And this is the Rust Palette. I love her new packaging. Like, hi, this is very high end. And these are the four colors that come with it. These are not goth enough, so we're just gonna stick with this light one today, just for the base, and then we'll move on to a different palette. But let's see if these are pigmented. Oh! Uh, and hi, Cat never fails to deliver, so I am already excited. Coat the entire lid, and I'm actually gonna bring the shadow up all the way, and I'm gonna take this and pull it all the way back so it will be a lot easier to blend later. If you Google pastel goth, there is a different like variation of the looks that everybody gives. It's like mainly a dark lip and kind of light eyes, or sometimes it's like a pastel and really dark. So I'm gonna give it a little Jeffrey twist and I'm just gonna dive into this Sugar Pill Heartbreaker palette and we're gonna go right in with this hot blue called Velocity. Oh my lord, they are really highly pigmented. You touch your brush once, oh good morning, and they're ready to play. So I'm gonna be using my Chanel Eyeshadow Dome Blending Brush. I love this one. And I'm just gonna dive in and start sketching out a little bit of a crease. If you want, you can sketch it out a little higher or you can stick to your natural crease line. Since I have no brows, I have a little bit more room to play with and I'm definitely gonna be banking on that today. So I'm gonna take this and since I have no brows, I wanna create a long, like, feminine definition to the eye. So I'm gonna be taking the shadow and going all the way in, and then we're gonna drag up. And this doesn't have to look perfect because we are gonna use another brush to blend up, but the base shadow that we previously just applied is definitely gonna help blend everything out already. So, hi, thank you. All right, now I'm gonna drag that all the way down to my lash line, just a little bit in there. Notice how I'm leaving some room for color right here and color right there. I'm gonna add in two more colors, actually, so you don't wanna take that blue too far in. I'm just kinda of doing it halfway into my eyelid. And of course, we'll buff and blend out that better, so no worries. Today, we're gonna be pulling out this makeup gem. This is that Natasha Denona palette. It's one of the palettes. She has like a million. These come with, you know, just like, you know, one or two shades. Good morning. So I'm looking at this palette. Clearly this one, this one, and this one needs to get all on this face. So first we're going to take this sky blue amazingness and I'm going to be using the Sugar Pill Blending Eyeshadow Brush and I'm just going to be dipping into that one. All right, now I'm going to take that color and merge it with that darker one that we just put on, and I'm just gonna kind of blend up and out. And I'm gonna merge those two and use it as a blending color. And then we're gonna go back in with our first blending brush with a little extra product of that cat palette, and we're just gonna blend. Come on, sky blue. And this is where I'm gonna drag it out a little bit more. I'm blue, da da -de -da -da -da. I'm gonna add in a little pop of color. So, I mean, look, there are so many options. I'm looking down at all these eyeshadows and I'm just like, oh, 
why did you do this to me? Why? Now, there's this really pretty cyborg foiled silver. Now, I've used this once before and I wetted the brush. I wet the brush. Wetted, wet, wetter, fucking whatever. I'm gonna use my MAC Fix Plus. This is the lavender flavor. And I'm just gonna coat this Bobbi Brown little blending brush. And we're just gonna dip into that silver. And oh my God, it's like, woo. All right, we are just gonna take that silver right on the lid. Ooh, yes. And just start packing that in there. Now, if you don't wet the brush, you might not get the desired intensity that you want. So I definitely recommend doing that. And I'm gonna take it all the way down. Now we are gonna blend out this part a little bit in a second. So if you're like, girl, that looks a little janky, I am definitely not done. And because my sockets are so big, I'm actually gonna bring that silver all the way to my like nose basically in there. And see that when I turn to the side, it looks so pretty. Now if my lids don't look like Terminator, I fucked me, then we just didn't do it enough. So I'm gonna keep layering and layering. Now that the silver is down, I definitely need to go in and blend out a little more. So we're just gonna go back in with our first blue. I like to press a little bit around the edges of where that silver was. So we're just kind of having them merge, become besties or, you know, lovers, whichever way you guys wanna do it. Now to add in a little bit of depth and drama, I'm gonna be going in with this really dark, dark blue shade in here. And I'm actually gonna touch this little duochrome moment right here. I'm gonna take the dark blue actually and do a little bit under my eyes as well, but let's do the crease first. So I'm just taking a little MAC 217 and that dark blue is so pigmented, like you really gotta be careful. So I'm gonna be really delicate and just start tucking that dark color a little bit in there. This is for depth and drama. If you want it a little lighter, just skip this part. But I'm gonna take that sugar pill brush one more time and just help blend and blend. All right, I actually switched my idea. So I did the darkness on here with my crease and then I'm like, do I need to add even more color? I think it's pretty good for now until we do lashes for the top. I'm like, okay, I'm loving this. It's very like alien cyborg, sky blue, like I don't even know, Titanic, drowning, sexy. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying, but you guys get the drift. I'm loving it. Let's move to under my eyes. Okay, so I was looking at all my makeup trying to find a good pink and of course I pull out more sugar pill this is the pro palette you can usually get these at like the IMAP makeup trade shows or that type of thing I don't think they sell them online but there's a pink in there right there and I'm like ooh girl. So we're going to dip into that. And I'm also going to do a little more inner corner under. And I found this Inglot pigment eyeshadow. It is so pretty. So I am going to give that a whirl today. And I'm going to be using my little MAC 219 pointy brush. I know I don't normally use Inglot a lot on my channel, but I am obsessed with this pigment. So once again, we're gonna wet that brush a little bit. And I like to just pour some of the pigment into the cap, like so. So I'm just gonna take this and put it right at that inner corner. Oh my God, I'm gagging. This is so pretty. This is the definition of like pastel drama. I'm being really delicate as usual. I'm barely touching my skin. Imagine this as like a highlight on my cheek. Ooh. I might have to do that like every day now. And because I have OCD and glitter obsession, I'm just going back over and over. Honestly, I think one layer is enough, but this is the Jeffree show here. We're gonna do like 16 layers. All right, now we're gonna dip into that sugar pill pink with the exact same brush. Let's keep it moving. And I'm just gonna continue to drag this out. Now, this pink is very pink, so be careful. We're just gonna merge these two together. And notice how I'm not gonna go all the way because I am gonna take that dark blue that we put in my crease a second ago and we are gonna bring a little bit of that down. So I'm not gonna do the entire thing. Oh my God, this is like pinker than my pussy. Okay, now the pink is laid down. I'm gonna go back in with this really, really dark blue and I'm gonna be using this little Morphe 507 brush. Hi, little detailer. What's up, girl? I love this little guy. So we're just gonna really lightly just dot in there and I'm gonna take this dark blue and just merge it with that pink really thin like we want this under eye to look like a cotton candy orgasm 
You want those eyeshadows to merge together so it should create a little kind of purple moment, which is what happens when blue and pink get together. Hi, color wheel. All right, now I'm not gonna do a wing for this look, but I am gonna smudge a little black liner where the lashes are gonna go. I think there's so much color going on here. It just needs a little bit of depth. So I'm gonna take my MAC Smolder pencil and I'm just gonna really lightly, like we're talking barely there. So I'm just gonna kind of tight line in there. See how really minimal that is? Now obviously it's not smudged out yet, so I'm gonna use my little Morphe 508 brush. I love this. And I'm just gonna take that and smudge out that top liner. Just a hair. All right, now before we do mascara and lashes, I'm gonna do some white eyeliner. I know you're like, oh my God, some more liner? Girl, we are not done. This is an intricate little look. So we're gonna take Max Fascinating White Pencil. This is my favorite for the waterline. Whew, you gotta hold your breath and just get through this one real quick if you uh, hate your waterline. So we're gonna take this pencil and we're just gonna put it right in the waterline. Now because of all these bright colors, you gotta be careful because this liner can hug onto color as well and like take it and turn like pink. So you gotta be really careful. Now I think this really completes the look. It's like that extra subtlety. Hi. All right, now for lashes, you definitely wanna look like a doll. So we're gonna first coat our lashes with the new Too Faced Waterproof Better Than Sex. Oh my God, I told you guys I had been waiting to try this. This is one of my favorite mascaras. So let's see what happens. Ugh, same amazing wand as before. Let's see how this works. Now, I got so excited, I blinked and got mascara under my eye. So I'm just gonna use a little primer to wipe it off off camera. I'll be back in two seconds. All right, I did my whole entire mascara off camera. I actually got it on my hair. Like, girl, I was having a moment. I told myself deep breath and then I got too excited and got it all over myself. So mascara is on. Now it's time for lashes. Okay, we're gonna do something really soft and wispy and natural. <laughs> Just kidding. We're gonna go in with the new Sugar Pill Eris Lashes. Oh my God, I saw these and I was like, these are made for me. Let's put these babies on and let's see what happens. I'm just gonna put these right on the lash line. Oh my God. And I'm gonna take tweezers and help press these on so they stay fabulous. Oh, will I shit. These are some of those lashes that you just gotta hold in place for a second. Let God do its, its magic. And I'm just gonna wave and blow. Oh my God. God, Amy from Sugar Pill, if you are watching this, you have created my new favorite lashes. These are so dope. I'm like, hi, I'm obsessed. Okay, I could stare at these eyes for like six more hours, but you guys know what time it is. It's time for the main event, highlighting. All right, now I'm gonna stick to the true goth pastel look. So if you notice today, I didn't really do any contour, which is so weird for me. I'm like, <gasps> Where's my cheekbones? <laughs> oh, there they are. I'm gonna be using this blush highlighter from Burberry. Now, you guys know I'm a Burberry whore. I am living for that packaging. It's just so cute. So basically, the white part, the highlighter, inside the blush. It's more subtle than it looks, and mmm, it smells like a lush bath bomb. That is so crazy. Yummy. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this Chanel powder brush, and it says just to swirl around. Oh, wow. Hmm. Let's pray this is not too pigmented because I do not want rosy ass cheeks. I'm gonna really finely just kinda, oh, ho, ho, wow. Okay, we'll be sharing that down in like two seconds. So, okay, hi Burberry, at least we know you have pigment, thank God. The worst is when you spend money on these higher end brands and then they just suck dick. So, thank God that is nice. So, I am going to take that all the way and Let's just blend that out a little more. Now, if you if you put too much blush on like I just did and you're like, oh my God, you can just take a powder brush and like a little bit of your powder. So today we use that Cabin Aquan. I'm just gonna dip into there and then I'll go back in with that blush and put it on top and just kinda, there we go. I just wanna share it down. Cute, now it looks like my cheeks are flushed and ready to kill. Okay, now I haven't done just blush without really any contour in so Long. I forgot the contour has become such a fad the last few years that I didn't really do it before. Now, a few videos ago, I showed you guys a new product from my brand that 
is called Skin Frost. It is a face and body highlighting powder that I developed. And when I said that I was gonna make highlighters, I got an overwhelming response. This is the first time I'm ever showing the inside of the compact. This is the inside. We have the Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo, really big. I know the sparkles are intense, so my camera's probably like, oh my god. We are going to use my favorite Morphe 510 brush. Now, a little goes a really long way. I know I've said that before in other videos and you're probably like, bitch, please. Listen, we're barely gonna touch this. That's all you need. And we are going to put this highlight right on top of that blush. Now, this shade is called Ice Cold and it is for really pale people. So you see that I barely even touched my cheek. It's already like, bam. So you really don't need to use a lot. Now obviously if you're me, you wanna use more than the average bear, but uh, I am just so excited for these to finally come out. I know I've been talking about them for a few months. I really wanted to perfect the formula. You guys know with my liquid lip, I was not playing games and that does not mean that will change for any future product. I've never used this for like a full on look like this before, so I am loving it. Okay, now you guys know, we gotta do that Cupid's bow. Now you can tell, hi, this is really light, so we're gonna just lightly do that on there. If you put too much, just do a beauty blender. I don't want it to look like I've been sucking off a pixie or a unicorn, so I'm just gonna do a little tip of my nose, like, all right, oh my God, my nose looks like it's the control tower at the airport. So we're just gonna shear that down a little bit. Since I didn't have any contour on, I don't want my nose to look really insane, but I definitely want that really cool glow moment. There we go, hi nose, you've been dipped in metal. Now that highlighting is done, we need to do lips. All right, now for this look, I'm gonna keep up with the whole pastel goth theme, if you will, and I'm gonna be using my own brand today. Hi, shameless plug, and I'm gonna be using Shade Abused. This is a really dark, navy, gothy, it's inspired from a Marilyn Manson song, so we're gonna keep with that dark makeup theme. This is a really unique shade. Not a lot of brands have navy. This is like dark black blue. And uh, let's start painting. One swab coverage, how we're not playing today. Oh wow. Oh lord, I always hold my breath when I do liquid lips because especially with dark shades, you gotta make sure those lines are perfect. All right, the lipstick is done and dry. Oh my god, it's so crazy how a lip could like change your entire, like, the whole look is like, woo! You guys know I cannot finish or complete a look without some setting spray, so let's see what we got today. We got a jumbo mist and fix, or we got the Urban Decay All Nighter. I think I'm gonna do, because I really can't decide today, fuck it, I'm gonna be the first person to do a double setting spray. Y'all bitches don't even try me after this one because I'm doing it. All right, let's get your engines set and ready, and let's get to fixing. And let's get to mixing. <laughs> oh, woo, I feel like I just took a bath. All right, you guys, this look is complete. All right, you guys, this is the final look. I am loving it, I'm feeling delicious. This is like cotton candy, cyborg, goth, realness. If you're daring enough to try this look out, give it a whirl. If this is too much color for you, rewatch it and get over it because you need to try this out. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys for all the inspiration. I asked you what kind of looks I should do next and I got an overwhelming response. So I'm inspired. I cannot wait to shoot more for you and there'll be a lot of uh, new product reveals coming up for my line. So subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, give me a finger blast or a shocker, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.